Hello, how's it going? Hi guys, I'm Miss Violet and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you my top 8 most used handbags, winter edition. As I have mentioned to you guys before, winter is the longest season we have here in our area. So let me show you my top 8 most used purses during the winter. So let's start with my 2-year-old Neverfull MM in imprint leather with the color noir which means black and this is two years old i was not able to do an unboxing with this purse i might do a more thorough detailed review but let me just show you real quick and this has the luxurious imprint leather and i believe this is like the luxury version of the never falls and it has the embossed leather you know, with the LV kind of monogram print in a bigger size. This is not considered a giant monogram LV, but it's like in the medium compared to the regular Louis Vuitton monograms, classic monogram print in small letters. But this is very luxurious type of leather and I love it. It's good for winter because it's black. So I don't have a problem if it's snowing. Or even raining with this purse and I love the inside it has this this lining is so beautiful it's in the color navy blue it doesn't show the real color with this camera but it's really pretty and of course it has this little mini pochette mini pouch that's included with the purse Let me take that out first so this has the microfiber lining. And the good thing about this is it's made in France. Louis Vuitton made in France, which is I'm very, very happy about. I was so excited. I was so surprised when I got this purse. And then it has the zip back packet, a shoe, just like the other never folds. Open this. Of course, the zipper is great, very smooth. I love their zipper and it has a big back pocket also with microfiber lining it has gold gold, gold hardware and it still has that hook that you can hook this up to close it up and of course it comes with this mini pochette it comes with this mini pochette also with this embossed cowhide leather the imprint leather and the inside is also made with a microfiber lining and yeah and this is the pochette that i love the most among my neverfalls and as i have mentioned i will do a much more detailed review of this purse and I really love this purse. This is like the luxury version of all the Never Falls. My next one is, of course, my ever faithful Speedy 30 in the Damier Ebin print. I don't think you can ever go wrong with this print. This is like an indestructible kind of canvas with a treated leather. And so it's really good for winter, especially if it's snowing hard and if it's raining and it does fit a lot. And I use a purse organizer with this. And as I've said, this was the original print of Louis Vuitton, the Damier Ebin. It's really good for night out. I just love this chocolate brown in the checkered print. It's so classy and match every outfit especially during the winter season because you're going to be wearing thick coat especially classic color this will definitely match your outfit and this one has the i stuffed it with air papers and that's how i stuff my purses so this comes with a red interior red cherry interior lining canvas as well and i know i already did a review on this don't forget to check that out 
and I highly recommend this purse. Very little wear and tear, as I have mentioned also before, and I had this for so long, so many years. This one is made in the USA, and I never had a problem with this. It's really durable, indestructible. I love this bag. And I'm also a fan of handheld as well. And for the handheld, this is what I go for, especially if it's winter and if it's raining. It will not get ruined at all. And it does fit a lot. It's very roomy inside. Let me show you. Let me remove this air paper so I can show you how big it is. So as I have mentioned, it has this cherry red interior lining, canvas lining, which is so pretty. For the age, it's so beautiful. To think that I bought this from the year 2015, so it's almost nine years old in May. And it's pretty clean because I use a personal organizer with this. So it's really pretty and has this back one, one back slit pocket, which is the original version. Now they have the zipper, which I think is better because it's going to keep your personal stuff intact and secure. But it's still beautiful. The hardware is shiny and everything. It's very roomy. This purse is just amazing. My third one is another Neverfull and this is the Neverfull MM in Damier Urban print. As you can see, Damier Urban print is my go-to print in the Neverfulls because it's like practically waterproof. So if it's raining and snowing, it won't be a problem for me. And I love this Neverfull as well. The canvas is just great. You can easily wipe it off if it gets dirty. Even if I'm attending parties, Christmas parties, I can just bring this with me and stuff it with a lot of things because it's Neverfull. You can put a lot in here. And this also comes in cherry red color, canvas lining. I know I mentioned this already. This one is made in the USA of imported materials and I don't see any difference though with the quality if it's made in France or made in USA made in Italy but of course I would prefer made in France because that's where Louis Vuitton originally came from but with the quality it's exactly the same I never had any issues as you can see it's really pretty and it still comes with the Neverfull pochette that you can hook up inside your bag in here and it has this one zip back pocket pretty substantial size just like the one in the in front leather and the hardware is still in good condition it's pretty shiny it's beautiful it it looks amazing for the age and this is over seven years old and i also did a video on this with a detailed review so please check that out it's really indestructible as well just like the speeded 30. the wear inter is not bad it's still beautiful it looks exactly the same except for the little wear in there on the corners and that's it i don't have any issues with the strap i know the strap was the main issue with this i only have a little cracking on this you can cannot really tell actually right there that's the one that's right there very very minimal and i highly recommend this purse you can use this as a mommy bag a student bag um travel bag and of course it comes with this mini pochette which is very versatile i use this all the time and i'm also going to do a comparison review with this neverfull with the other canvases never full like the monogram and the Damier azure and of course also gonna do a detailed review of, of the never full mm in the emperor leather it's just so versatile and so beautiful and perfect for winter and i don't have any crackings on the leather here the top on this top leather trim it's still perfect 
and I know they changed the leather material on the straps. I know they now make it with matte and this one is the glossy, glossy version. And mine, it didn't have that much cracking except for the little teeny tiny one. This is over seven years old. Highly, highly recommend if you're looking for a an everyday purse. And of course, you can cinch this in with these two lace, lace side straps, just like with the other Neverfalls. All the Neverfalls have these two lace straps on both sides so you can cinch it in and make it smaller. But on this print, I don't do that because I don't wanna crack the leather trim here because it's kind of pretty stiff still, which how I like it. Just like with the strap here, it's still pretty stiff and that's how I like it. But with the monogram and the Damien Azure, of course it's very soft and it's soft on the shoulder. And this one is a little stiff, so it's, it's gonna dig on your shoulders if your purse is too heavy but for me it's doable so again highly highly recommend this purse it's just very versatile and so easy to use especially on winter and if it's raining just beautiful and i know it had gone up in price compared to how much it was originally but i believe it's still worth the money because you're gonna get a lot of use out of this purse for the pochette alone, I mean, I use this a lot. I seen a lot, especially if you don't want to bring this big, huge purse to the grocery or going to church. I'm just going to grab this and put all my essentials in here. And I know I keep saying that because it's just how I use it. And it's very practical and durable. And I know I already did a video on how much... This fits, especially the essentials. And of course it is canvas, so you can just wipe it clean. If it gets dirty, baby wipes, that's how I clean my purses. And it's working well for me. And it's scratch resistant. Even you scratch it, it's not gonna show anything. Scratch resistant and so durable. I cannot say that enough. And of course, this pochette comes with the same color lining, the red cherry interior canvas lining. And it has one, like a pocket at the back. And you can put a lot in here. And this one says made in Louis Vuitton Paris, because this one is made in the USA. They used to put a cloth tag, cloth tag in here. If it's made in the USA but now they just put a chip just which I forgot to show you on my Neverfull and front leather it now comes with a chip because it's two years old and I know they just started doing that at that time and this one it's just very practical and easy to use as I keep saying so for my fourth one is my Burberry Hobo Haymarket handbag this is kind of vintage because it's like over 15 years old and it was my first Burberry bag and I really love this one. It has this pleated canvas at the front and at the back and it doesn't matter which one you want as the front and the back because it doesn't really, it has no difference except for the Haymarket logo like that and I know I already did a video of a matching wallet French wallet by Burberry and I bought that to match this handbag and I love this one it's so very classic looking and I love the Burberry checkered print and it has this beautiful brown leather on the sides and has these tassels too on both sides and the zipper is just beautiful. And open this for you. And it and I have the air papers for this. That's how I store my bag so that it will keep its shape. Let me take that out. 
So this is the inside. It has the brown canvas lining. And it has two pockets. Two pockets here. That's I think that's the front side. Two pockets here. And one zipper pocket here at the back. Let me open that. And right there. It's pretty good size. And this one is made in Italy. Made in Italy. Burberry. And it will show. I forgot where the tag is. Let me look where it is. So the tag that will say made in Italy is on this side, I think. And it's right there. Right there. It says made in Italy. And I love this purse. Because this purse and the matching wallet are both made in Italy. And that's what I like before with Burberry. Most of their materials, most of their handbags and wallet are made in Italy. But now I think it's hard to find one. And I like this leather tab. It's very easy to use, easy to pull, easy to zip in, zip out of the bag. It's so durable. I used this so many times because I know, I think, um, this is now vintage because it's like over 15 years old or probably 18 years old. And this kind of bag is very rare. I only saw two of these here in my area. And that was in the shopping mall when I was shopping. And I only saw two and that was in the year probably 2005, 2007. So if I want a purse and I want something unique, not really unique, but you know, not everybody has it. I will always grab this bag, even on Christmas, New Year, Thanksgiving. If I don't want to wear my Louis Vuitton, I, if I want something different, and this is what I grab and it's pretty durable as well. And this is way, way older than my other Louis Vuitton. The only problem with this is the handle. This one is fine, but there's no cracking on this side right there. If you can see it cracking there and also on this side. So I try to use this less, but I know I've used this so, I mean, so, so many times before and even this winter. That's why I included this in this video because I still use this a lot, but I think I have to use this less because of the wear and tear. And I don't know if this can be fixed because I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. The cracking here. And the good thing with this, even though it's now cracking, so if I don't want to use this as a shoulder bag, I can use this as crossbody bag because of this D-ring. And I tried to use it before as a crossbody bag and it was fine except for it, of course the handle this one is kind of like sticking out because you cannot tuck it in inside the bag but and this one because since i use this in the winter it doesn't dig on my shoulder because it's stiff in a way but it has softened a little bit it's just like the louis vuitton artsy it's like the louis vuitton artsy how it's designed for comparison and this one has softened and since of course i wear this during the winter i have thicker jackets you know the winter coat so it's not gonna dig in and also the other con of this it looks so big but you can definitely fit your essentials in here but not a lot for some reason it's kind of limited in space of how much you can put in inside but of course your essential will still gonna fit in here but if you're gonna compare it with if i'm gonna compare it with my graceful pm the graceful pm will definitely fit more than this but i love this bag it's so unique every time i wear this every time i use this i'm always the only one who has this kind of purse and yeah not everybody has this purse it's very unique and i love the haymarket logo it's just so very classic looking for me very elegant and that's why i also love this purse from burberry the hobo haymarket purse 
and by the look of it i know you can tell it's practically vintage but it's still very beautiful and elegant looking burberry doesn't make this anymore even the quality because every time i go to the burberry store it's not as durable and i mean the material is no different compared to the other purses in the past that they make so this purse has been discontinued and i know i bought this from nordstrom and i really love this purse it's so beautiful it's also easy to match let me show you also i know this is the handbag collection but let me show you also the matching wallet which i already did a vlog on you'll see how beautiful it is so this is the matching wallet that i was telling you about it's also burberry haymarket logo and this one is also made in italy it's like the french kind of wallet and this is how which i choose when traveling because it's so practical to use and it's so beautiful together it's very very matchy matchy so for example i'm using this bag i definitely will use this with it because it's so pretty and i know i got i remember i got a lot of compliments in here either if i'm buying something from starbucks i'm using this purse and then i'm gonna grab this wallet from the inside they will i mean i get a lot of compliments there saying it's so pretty and kind of unique because they, they don't see this every day and it's really pretty this pattern is a trademark from burberry it's so classic elegant and i will never get tired of this print let's now move to my most used contemporary handbag collection and the first one is this coach shirling fur trim leather gallery tote bag in the color tobacco brown and this is just beautiful and exquisite i believe i I remember I bought this from the year 2005 from from the coach department store and the color is just amazing it has this fur trim all around the top of the bag and also on the pockets lining of the pockets right here on the sides it's just beautiful and it has this dog tag with the antique brass hardware and i know this is like from the line this this leather is just amazing i think it's it's from those glove tanned leather glove tanned leather from coach in the past their original leather version which is very durable and also indestructible and this is in the size medium large and if i'm not mistaken i bought this for 695 dollars plus tax this is a limited edition christmas holiday edition the year 2005 and it has a lot of pockets which is a pretty good size two front pockets right there you can put a lot in here as well I put my key pouch key clay i can put my business envelope business card holder on this side and even candies chocolates you know for snack and on the side there are two side pockets which is still a good size you can put tissue napkins in here even even receipts and it has this what you call this closure the this i forgot what it's called but here also on the other side you can still put your car keys in here as well i have tissues in here and then on the inside and of course the handle it has this braided handle which is just beautiful and look at that this is over 18 years old practically vintage from coach and it's really durable it's braided and it's just i mean the detail is just amazing 
and I love the antique brass hardware it's really it really matches the purse how they made it and at the back this is what I love the most I can put my I can put a lot in here I can put my keys my phone everything in here it's very very easy access it has this leather tab in here just like the original pochette matisse if you remember and it's beautiful it has this pink fabric lining just like what's in the inside and let me show you the inside how beautiful it is and here it is the inside is in pink fabric lining and it's just beautiful and it says here the coach with a number and this one it says coach right there and at the time it will say here where it's made so right here it will say it's made from turkey and then the only con with this is that it has this you know the it had this colored here at the trim here trim of the zipper the back zipper it had it became discolored because the lining is leather there's leather here Right here, this leather, the brown leather, it kind of like seeped through the fabric, so it became brown, but it's still okay. It's over 18 years old, and here it is. The back pocket, still good size. It has the D-ring here where you can hook up your keys. I hook up my key clay in here, my pouch. I even use my never full pochette pouch in here i put in here if i don't want to bring this entire purse if i'm gonna go to the store or, or going to church as i keep saying i'm just gonna use my never full pochette this is where i hook it up and on the at the front it has two front pockets where you can put you know your candies your hand sanitizer and this one is a good size it's a medium size and it's like a mini tote. It's like a mini Neverfull because it's open. It has this doglish closure, doglish clap, clip top closure. And it is a good shoulder bag. It's a good tote, in my opinion, because it's not too big. It's not too small. It's just on the heavy side, but it's because of the old the hardwares, you know, it adds up to the weight of the bag. But for me, it's still doable. I love this especially to match my brown winter coat. It's really beautiful. And this is, of course, discontinued. This has been discontinued because it's over 18 years old. But for the age, I mean, you cannot even tell the scratches. It has a lot of scratches before, but that scratch is kind of like molded in together with the leather. And that's just unbelievable and it's still so beautiful and classy and i remember one of the celebrities when i was reading i think it was the from people magazine back in the day dennis richards was wearing this but hers was the in the navy blue color and so when i saw that i was like oh i have that in the tobacco brown and look look at the scratches here but you, it's not bad this gets scratched easily but as i've said it kind of like patinaed more in a way and it had blended in so and the bottom it's just beautiful amazing the wear in there on the corner there's no like there's nothing really i mean just teeny tiny except for the scratches on the leather barely noticeable in my opinion so this one was really a good find and i definitely use this during the winter season it is such a beautiful purse i am so lucky to have this purse to have this in my collection i love the fur the fur trim it's just very classic and i like the way how coach made their purses back in the day because the quality is just amazing. It's like a luxury type on the luxury level. So glad that I have this in my collection. It's so timeless. So for my sixth most used purse is another coach bag. And this is the signature fabric coach hobo bag in the color brown with 
suede leather wrapped around the bottom and i believe this is from the early 2000 so this is also vintage and this must be like teen 18 19 years old as well just like the other one but i think this is could be a little older than that this is also of limited edition and this is the back side and this is the suede and has leather trim and of course the signature cc signature fabric logo and it has this fur trim along the top and the fur trim is really thick and it's so soft and so smooshy and i love it i love it so much especially for example in the winter and i don't need to carry a lot because this still fits a lot even though it looks small and this is the handle the leather handle and it has the the good thing about this i know this is a limited edition and you could tell because it's made from silver stainless silver hardware which is very rare from the coach collection and and you can see the stitching is in white it's just really in like like cream color but this one is in white to match the silver hardware and when you open it up it's like that it's kind of dark but let me, let me see if you can see more closely and there you go it says here coach and it's also says in here only says in here right there that it's made from turkey and of course it will say no coach of imported materials and this is how they do it originally back in the day and this is from the early 2000s pretty much vintage and this is the back zip pocket and it has this light like a light brown fabric lining interior lining and at the front there are two front pockets right there and you can still put a lot in here and i know this one used to be for the phone because the phone at that time is like you know the, the flip phones will definitely fit in here and yeah it is a smaller version but you can still fit your essentials in here also has the d-ring you know for your keys attach your keys your key clay your mini pouches with a hook and it's still in very good condition and i love using this during the winter because of the fur i love this fur and it has a matching wallet let me show you so this is the matching wallet and the the signature logo signature cc logo is smaller than this in the hobo bag but the hardwares are exactly the same it made it is made of silver hardware the stitching is also white and this is like a french wallet as well which i love especially for traveling because it's very handy so it's just like my burberry haymarket but this one has more card slots and for some reason this fits more than the burberry haymarket wallet and this one also has this for the coins the only thing with this is of course it's more on the heavy side compared to this compared to my burberry haymarket french wallet because of this hardware so i prefer this one but for the quality i mean this is also indestructible and this is i think it's of the same age as this one because i bought this almost at the same time because i want a matching wallet with this purse and this one of course also made with leather and everything i might do a more detailed review on this purse especially my coach collection because most of it most of these are vintage and i want to expand more on this high quality coach finds it's really pretty and as i've said if i'm carrying this of course i have this wallet and i'm gonna put my phone in there my hand sanitizer my car keys and everything even my mask if i want so i can put it in there at the back pocket and it does fit 
it is tiny but it still fit the essential so when i grab it it's matchy matchy it's so pretty and for my seventh most used purse is gonna be my long chomp very reliable long chomp lap layage it will say here right here long chomp lap layage um shoulder tote and this is in the color teal in the size small and i bought this at bloomingdale's but when i look at it at nordstrom website i think they put this in the medium size so this could be small medium but i think this is in the small size but even though it's small it fits a lot so it's made of nylon and this leather trim the original leather trim of long chump and with the gold hardware i love this during the winter because you know because the color teal it's more on the dark darker color for winter it's nylon so it's practically waterproof and easy wipeable it's very easy to wipe the dirt that gets in here and then when you open it up of course it has a zipper with it has a zipper with with gold hardware and of course it will say here the long chomp logo 1948 does it say 1948 or yeah 1948 and it has this leather tab on both sides and this one is really affordable in my opinion like a hundred and 140 130 dollars i think and this one this one was my second long champ but i used this more during the winter it has the black lining black nylon actually plastic lining here on the inside and it has one small pocket at the front where you can put your car keys candy and i use a purse organizer with this because it's very hard to find your things if you're not gonna put a purse organizer because it's like a black hole in there but this holds a lot a lot even though it's in the small size and mine i am so happy with this is because of my long chomp but it's very rare nowadays here in the united states but mine is made in france right there made in france so i was so happy when i got this because my other long champs are all made in the usa but at least i have one made in france which is very rare and i was so happy with that and i like the color for winter as well especially for winter and the good thing about this if you're traveling you can just fold it up like that and show you so you can just fold it up like that and then you just button it up and ta-da you have a small bag if you're for example you're gonna go on holidays or you're gonna go on vacation you want extra bags this is what i bring because you can just fold it and put it in your suitcase so if you need an extra bag you can just bring this along with you and then just open it and you have this big huge purse and it comes in big sizes too which i do have and i might do um a review on my long champ handbags as well i don't have a lot but i think it's a good a good collection for the sizes because i have you know large ones as well and the good thing about this of course you can zip it up it has a zipper i mean unlike the never because you know the con of that one as everybody was saying and also it has this flap that you know if you don't want if you want to leave it unzipped you can just use this let me show you for example you want to because not everybody wants to always zip their bag, especially when, you know, when you're up and about because, you know, they want it more easy access. So they just, you know, you can just button this up. And of course, if this is, you know, you're using this and then you can just grab from the side your water bottle, your keys, your wallet without opening the entire bag. So... For me this is also a must have and it's very durable 
in my opinion because it's water resistant except of course the sides i know everybody's complaining about the sides that it will get you're gonna get holes in here but i think longchamp has a good customer service that you can bring it one time i think just one time so it's you know they will fix what the hole on the sides and they will stitch it up all back again for free i mean just one time though one time for the life of the bag which is i think is still acceptable compared to you know compared to nothing right but i believe this is a must have because it's also versatile you can use it as a, a diaper bag a school bag travel bag so i believe this is a must have as well and this comes in different colors too limited edition ones and um as i've said i might do a review on this i have the ones with the flowers in a large size but this one is a good everyday type of a handbag because it's not too big and it's not too small so for my last one in the contemporary category is my tory birch Perry tote the original version and it's in the color black with gold hardware and this is the this was the original Perry tote design where you know it has no compartment on the inside but the outside of course is leather in black the wear in there is great it's a big bag so i will wear this during the winter if i want to be low key because the only lettering is the t right there tory birch and you cannot even tell there's no logo at all because if it's in your shoulder you're not even gonna see this so the wind wear in there is great there's no scratches or anything and the bottom is perfect and if i want a big bag and i want to be very simple as i've said loki this is what i grab and of course i mean if it's snowing it's raining it's good no problem with that and the straps are in great shape and it does not this one does not dig on the shoulder at all even though if it's heavy because it's kind of on the soft side and on the inside it also has magnetic button closure the original version as i've said so it has just one big huge compartment unlike the new Perry tote where there's a divider and this one the original version it has with the like a cream colored lining that's wipeable and there's a back pocket which i love because you can put your card holder in here even your key clay in here like it's very easy access and here you can put more things in here more cards you can put a little a small wallet in there and then i use a purse organizer with this as well because it's an open big tote so for you know for you to be organized and easy access i would suggest using a purse organizer with this but of course with a new peri tote with a divider you cannot use a purse organizer because it's already divided for you and i think that's also great but with that one only thing the con for me on that one is that it's kind of on the heavy side i mean this one is very light it's not heavy at all it is light which is a good bonus for me and you can definitely fit a lot in here it's like the neverfull but of course on the cheaper side so i think this is a good alternative for the neverfull because of course the neverfull has gone up in price i think this one more on the pre-love market because it's not available anymore in the tory birch website because they have the new peri tote but if you can grab your hands on this this is a good diaper bag school bag even because it will fit your laptop and everything it's a good size and the only con i have with this purse in my opinion is that i think because i was so excited with this color at that time um the black i think got sold out pretty quickly i think i paid full price on this one so that's my only regret on this i should have just waited because after like like months it became available again and a much much i think it was like 50 percent off so but anyways it's still worth the money in my opinion when i bought it because i did use this a lot the good thing also 
when I was using this purse. I am careful with all my purses, but with this one, I'm also careful, but not like very, very careful that I will be scared of using it. Because it's, I mean, compared to the Neverfull, this is very much affordable. The other thing that I like with this lining, the cream colored lining, it's so easy to find your things because it's not dark. You know, it's lighter lining. You can see everything that you need, especially if you have a purse organizer. And the wear and tear is great. It held up very nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next time. Bye!